Hey there, IC Nation. Welcome back to some more Impossible Creatures replays content. Uh, first one in a while, but we're getting back at it. I'm Will, and I'm joined by the lovely Skitter. Skitter, how's it going? Hello. Oh. I am here back from my uh, grave. The silky audio quality. Skitter, your situation has improved. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're going to... Back okay. with a better mic. You can you can carry this replay because you sound absolutely buttery, my man. Uh, I will try. Looks like so. What do we have for today? We've got a so first up, we've got this Depario game, and I was sent it by Pale. I know that it is Pale Chihuahua Ritty Sayo and one of the Black Tigers. Let's um let's dive in and find out exactly who's where here. All right. Yeah, there's some interesting bull to come. Ritty 3 and Chihuahua, it looks like, versus Ritty and Pale. Alright, tell me about those build orders. I... I'm a little out of the loop because I've been away for a while, but uh, I'm hearing there's a lot of new build orders. They're testing a bunch of stuff. Okay, that's cool. I was talking to Pale earlier, and he was mentioning that he's been experimenting with some zero elect build orders, which is very funny. Yes, that is wild. I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. I believe in you, Skidder. Your electricity situation is tenuous <laughs> at best. I think if anyone can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Okay, some aggressive hench. Wow, yeah. Or at least aggressive expansion. Hello? Just ignores as natural. Beautiful. There you go. I like to see Love that. To see really cool use of the henchmen there. So they're picking up 20 coal each before they have enough coal to build the workshop. That's really nice. And then they immediately all drop it at once. That's perfect. Oh, wow. Both teammates doing the same thing. Looking symmetrical. Yeah. Some scouting rods from Riddy. That's nice. Good to see. Good to see. Pale doing a standard expo. You would expect him to be the one doing weird stuff. <laughs> Got the gens coming down from Pale now. That's real nice. That's the first gen. Looks like Riddy's getting his up as well. So East team specking into electricity and West team just going for the call. Yes, and um, only now doing like all the rods, the top side, which is interesting. Ooh, did you see that? BT had, a, BT had a gazelle chambered up and he deleted it. Rare flub mm. there from the Black Tiger. We caught it on camera. <laughs> He's got cold feet. Ooh. Sap now that is a good looking frog. That's a, that's a good looking frog. Look at those legs. Uh, very Ooh. aggressive skunks. Now look, we've got some we've got some Tell 2.10 stink coming out here, which I love to see. Look at the slowdown, absolutely unbelievable. These guys just getting crushed. High endurance, so you can spam it as well. Absolutely right, and there's just I mean, I guess that was just a scouting maneuver to see what kind of units Pale's got, uh, and now BT yeah, is getting totally ready. Um, lots of gazelles coming out. That's cool. And that looked good. Yeah, he's going to be a real mobile while the enemy's stuck in stink. It's going to be interesting. And um, I've been hearing an awful lot about these uh, hyenas, Skitter. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. The bane of every pro. Uh, the double stink. <laughs> Making wow. sure they can't retreat at all. Oh my god, that was so brutal. Well done, BT. That was a that was a really good that's exactly the kind of play that new stink should be used for. That was uh dominant stuff. Yeah, so the multi roll tank and stink is just perfect. Mm. That artillery denying the Sambium Towers. The F team is looking pretty strong right now. A lot yeah. of map control. I'd say so. I mean, there's nothing really going on up north, just people um, massing units. Uh, and it looks like yeah. probably Riddy has the edge at the moment. Uh, but it depends what these uh, Insectomito Rolados do, I guess. Rayado? I don't know. <laughs> what a name. So good. Spanish I see, man. We need more of that. Yep. Self-realized dog man. <laughs> Sorry, I need, I, need to, I need to single out some of these names from Pale because they're really good. 
the, those are some unique names. Okay, so these hogs are looking pretty, pretty good for tanking. Wow, juicy hogs. Regen, herding. But it, it's the ball of range that's doing the damage. And uh, yeah, he's reached critical mass, I think. Actually, the hand shield coming in clutch here. Yeah, yeah it could have been. Away. I think probably Riddy still had that, but maybe not. Uh, he pulled away from his sunbeam towers and then getting damaged now. Okay, what's what is this? Oh, it's Chimp no Bolas. Wow, look at these weird long arm yeah, chimps. Yeah. That's so freakish. <laughs> Power move, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Just replace the chimp's whole motto. Okay, that was level three. Sorry, There's I didn't see go behind the aggression. They still don't have their natural. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, Chuao is taking most of his expos at this point. He's uh, and he's building the gyro for go for the, to go for the um, cliff geysers, which is huge on this map. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Game changer for Gyro. sure. He goes for them, so... Oh, this yeah. sting! Like oh my god! Auto. I mean, can catch even late level 2, so... Did you see? Here. BT yeah. basically just defended his, his entire right flank with a single stink there, forcing Pale to just leave. Even though there's no damage being done by the stink, yeah. it's just that the mobility is so Really rough. oppressive. Wow, that's amazing. I got some artillery. That's a very nice artillery unit. You know. Meanwhile, Reedy's making good progress up here. These level 3s are some cuttlefish strong. use. That's uh, 14 damage upgraded. Yeah, wow. And 230 yeah, HP. Things, that's that's looking Cutting. really messy for Chihuahua there. Yeah, this position is very, very dead over there. But so is down south. Actually? The Walrus Artillery are actually uh, holding their own. Yeah, what a cool hold there. Love a bit of bile. They look like little maggots, honestly. Like... <laughs> they do. This is a Hollow Knight villain for sure. It's so cursed because the flippers are very, very uh, hard to steer the terrain. Oh, true, yeah. Logs. Logs. Man, I like these hatchet bear grizzlies. It's a shame we didn't really get to see them. Maybe we'll see some more. Um, but it's not too late for Chihuahua. He's got some backup chambers here, and he's get some, getting some cliff geysers yeah. pumping. So he can swing this. Well, that's the eco advantage. So his army can replace itself. He's got this geyser too, actually. That's quite nice. Yeah, and it looks like Riddy is just stuck on these clinics. There's um, there's no real point taking out these clinics at this point. Yeah, he needed to move on. If he Definitely came and claimed this geyser, that, that would have been yeah. Exactly. That Sunbeam would get one shot by the, what, 14 damage range? It's kind of insane. So true. Ooh, we got some Tapirs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I like the way the salamander's large, head large goes in. Large boys. They <laughs> are so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, those just normal oopisters. What are those mixed up? You're right. They are. Oh, they're oogad sharks, but the um the range version. Uh, so uh, weird. Ready, boss. Ooh. Good to see some. Ooh, I would have killed that honestly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. He can come back for it after the army. Never mind. He just needs a one. Okay, we got some hand shield and poison, so this is quite the overwhelming odds. What is what is BT's hench doing all the way over here? That's interesting. I don't know. Okay, the gyro goes. Hand shield is so you don't have to micro them. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, up north. And they tank a little bit. Ooh, that army just popped out of nowhere. You see, the short range is actually fighting Rutia and like. Yeah, he's having to pull out. I'm not told was too good. Yeah, that's it. I'm not terribly surprised because um, those research clinics bought you out enough time to really use his eco advantage and build up this mass. Definitely. Although we okay, do well, have level four, though. we do have Riddy at four, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I always love to see a rhino. Yeah, rhinos are honestly sleeper. 
Any day you, you wake up, you see a rhinoceros, you're like, this is a good day. It's, it's a giraffe, that's quite the aesthetic. Dude, the, the, the weight on these front legs, structurally <laughs> tenuous. <laughs> it's all in the back. <laughs> Okay, Pale yeah, will not be stopped. Camels. Yeah, yeah, the, the Frenzy yeah, Camels are out. Absolutely gorgeous. Frenzy Camels against uh, Artillery 08, but there's still some range. Yeah, <laughs> I do like them though. And he get he gets the gen up this time, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't have a lot of artillery counter measures. So. Whoa, this is becoming an army and a half. It like, really can it is. kill level 4s is the question. Well, that, that's the thing. They're both at level 4 now. So we're starting to see some level 4s come out from Chihuahua. Uh, okay, I see, I see. This is... But he's this... into artillery when yeah. all these melee charge units are going to just cause the... Yeah, I think he hadn't seen the level 4s that Rydie's bringing just yet. This is his first yeah. glimpse of them. Yeah. Oh man, this is a big fight. The artillery was doing a lot of friendly, but he's fixing the arc now. Yeah, and it seems like it might have been worth it. High rates of attrition, but he does win this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and now here's why we're bringing artillery. I would not take this fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get out of there. Wow, that that could have gone differently if Rudy had arranged his forces slightly differently. I think that could have gone a different way. Uh, but great hold from Chihuahua. Honestly, I would have split off a little bit of Ryan. I know is to like flank the lab or something to split up his army. Well, look, if it was me, I simply would have won. So, you know. Ha <laughs> yes. <laughs> if it was me. If I was there, it wouldn't have gone down like that, Skidder. Paradise. Yeah. Hello. This, <laughs> this um, henchman from Pale. Gyrocopter battles. <laughs> Dueling gyros. Brings the artillery back. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, but honestly, BT3 kind of can't be stopped. Actually put artillery on the cliff. Yeah, 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 which is oh, great. Uh, oh, look at those. Those are sizey. The anacondas? I know. Dude, look how thick the tail on the mountain lion is. It's so level junky. Four? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen leap attack, level 4. Although he's coming up against level 5s. <laughs> This game goes level 5. Dude, how has Rizzy done this with his eco? He's had like half the eco of no, Chihuahua. Like, boxed in. Uh, and he doesn't even just... have the uh, like eyes on the cliff there. Ex exactly, and yet he's he's out ecoing, out leveling everyone else in the game. That's crazy. Dedicated man. Pale has finally gone 4. Okay. Ooh, Pale the gyro! We got some ammo. Yeah, this is what we needed, honestly. Yeah, Give yeah. some breathing room for the level 5. Oh wait, maybe Pale isn't even at level 4, did I tell a lie? Was I looking at BT's units instead? I'm so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Pale's not even level 4. Oh my lord. Okay, this does look so rough for the East team. Yeah, he should be, like, sacrificing this expo and just gathering units. Just trickling them in at this point. He needs to do something. I mean, those rhinos would go so hard against this artillery if he could just get them around. But, um, yeah, I guess... Yeah, not, you know, stuck on level 3s. That is a classy unit right oh there. Oh my god, the vintage. Oh, you hate to see him get shelled like that, though. My poor boys. Yeah, he needs to just not A-move. Just walk them right in. Oh, but it's so tough. I mean, these guys have got perforated, these guys not have got piercing. These guys have the piercing upgrade as so well. So I have 1,000 health, yeah. Yeah, yeah. These are actually called Waylocks. <laughs> Unlike the actual Waylocks as he was using. Yes, and it looks like Pale has fallen <laughs> and BT is they now stop. going straight for Randy. Yeah, high eco into rattlesnakes. It's quite over. Wow, that was a fun game though. That was a Those... good game actually. Yeah, it really was. I was not expecting level 5 at all. The party usually ends on level 4, I would say, at the max. Yeah, yeah, but we had like a good old fashioned slug fest up the north, which is always fun to watch. That was brilliant. I love that so much. And it looked like Pale. Pale really got. 
pinned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got another game after this. Pale got pinned there by BT three and was unable to do the leveling, which is crazy. Yeah. Ritty hitting level five, Pale being at level three. <laughs> yeah, that is quite the difference. But that it, stink is just so oppressive. He couldn't like, escape at all. No, and it was it just denied so many tactical opportunities, which is like exactly what we were kind of hoping to see stink used for. I, uh, if anyone was going to do it, it was going to be the BTS. You know. Uh, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna end this recording here. Skitter, thank you so much. Bless. Uh, beautiful win for uh, BT and Joao.